I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the importance of different formats to prove conjecture. Conjecture is a statement which seems to be true. Classify each statement below as sometimes true, always true or never true. Explain your reasoning. So we have three different statements here. The first one is if A and B are real numbers and a plus b equals to 0, then a equals to minus b. Second is, if a and b are real numbers and a square equals to b, then a equals to square root of b. And the third one is, two obtuse angles will be supplementary. You need to figure out whether these statements are sometimes true, always true, or never true. So let's begin with the very first one. It says if a and b are real numbers and a plus b equals to 0, then a equals to minus b. How can we prove it? We can adopt algebraic proof for this. Since a plus b equals to 0, what we can do is we can take away b from both sides, then we'll get a plus b minus b equals to 0 minus b. The step is that is the subtraction property, right? That is the subtraction property of equality, correct? So let me write subtraction property of equality. Now that gives us a equals to minus b. Perfect. This is substitution property, right? This is substitution property. So we can write reason for each statement. Property of equality. So in this particular case, we adopted a method which we say algebraic proof, right? So the method used here is algebraic proof. And the result is that A equals to minus B. So that is always true, correct? Since we proved it, so this we can write always true. I hope you appreciate the method, right? And how we proved it. Now the next one is, if a and b are real numbers and a square equals to b, then a equals to square root of b. It seems to be correct. But let us try to see and investigate it. Is it really correct? So investigating really means following some steps. In this case, let us take some examples. If a is 2, let us say a equals to 2. In that case, a square will be 2 square, which is 4. The question is, a square equals to b, that means a square equals to 4, that means a equals to square root of b, now b is 4, square root of 4, which is 2. That is correct. Okay. How about if a equals to minus 2. In that case, a square will be equals to minus 2 square, which is 4. Now, it says a should be equal to square root of b, and b in this case is 4. So, what is square root of 4? It is 2. Well, in this case, we again get 2, but we started with a equals to minus 2. Do you see that? So, in this case, it is not true. Well, in the previous case, when we started with a positive integer, it was true. So, what can you conclude in such a case? Now, here, our conclusion is that it is sometimes true, correct? And, as you can see, if it is a non-negative integer, it is true, but not otherwise, right? So that also you can add sometimes, correct? Now let's look into the third statement, which says 
two obtuse angles will be supplementary. Well, it seems that this is incorrect statement. When we say obtuse angles, that means that, let us say, we have angle A and we have angle B. If both of them are obtuse, that means angle A is greater than 90 degrees and angle B is also greater than 90 degrees, correct? So if we add them up, that is, two obtuse angles will be supplementary. Supplementary means their sum should be 180 degrees. But what is the sum of angle A and angle B? If we add angle A plus angle B, right, that means it should be, we know both are greater than 90. So it would be greater than 90, greater than 90. It means both angles are greater than 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. They are not equal. They are greater than. They will be greater than 90 plus 90 is 180 degrees. So that means this statement is never true. In such questions, we can adopt informal paragraph proof. Give examples. Just as we said, right? So if two angles are obtuse angles, then each one of them is greater than 90. Their sum will be greater than 2 times 90 or greater than 180. So they are not supplementary. Since their sum is greater than 180 degrees and not equal to 180 degrees. I hope that helps. So whenever you're trying to explain whether a statement is sometimes true, always true or never true, you can follow or you can adopt the methods learn. Here it is important to make a judgment which kind of method works best. You could use deductive argument, informal paragraph proof just as we used here or sometimes a formal two column proof especially when you're doing geometric reasoning or at times you can also provide counter examples to justify whether a statement is true or false or sometimes true, always true or never true. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.